Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Today was a bit of a random day. I had to run a few errands and in between errands while I was driving, I was uh, checking out yard sales. I only went to a couple, but the first one I went to, uh, it was an old house and um, it was a couple of young people. Um, and they didn't have much um, for sale, just you know, some odd bits and pieces uh, on a patio table. And uh, I asked the young man, um, "Do you happen to have any coins? Because you know that's what I like. Uh, I, I'm a coin collector." And he said, "Hold on a sec. I think I have some odd bits and pieces um, inside the house." So he comes out with this uh, plastic bag, and uh, it was it had about you know I'd say about two or three pounds. Uh, of coins and right away I noticed that there was quite a few of these older Canadian nickel dollars so um, I had said hey you know uh, how much do you want for it and he goes you know make me an offer and I said hey uh, how about 10 bucks and he said sure and uh, you know we're just talking and you know he's saying oh yeah there's a whole bunch of these silver dollars in there and I said, uh, you know, actually they're technically nickel dollars. They haven't had silver dollars um, uh, since 1967. So, uh, you, know, he had, you know, he was talking and asking me, uh, well, I think they're still spendable. And I go, yeah, you know, you have to go to the bank and exchange them because they are obsolete dollars. Uh, and then he goes, uh, well... You know, I, I think there's like at least 20 of these in here. Uh, you know, instead of 10, can you make it 15? So, you know, I didn't want to haggle over that because I, I sort of eyeballed it and it did look like at least $20 worth. So that was basically um, return of my money and more. So I'll just show you what I found. First of all, I'll show you all the world coins that I sorted through. And a lot of it is vacation money. So, you know, nothing particularly old. Some are still usable, some are not. So we have some Hong Kong money here and then some from mainland China. Some from Taiwan, Japan, the Philippines, Thailand, Singapore, India, Malaysia, Iran, Australia. I try to arrange it, uh, by, I guess, by continent or geography, just to put some logic into it. Uh, here's Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, East Caribbean states, and back over here. This is like the Latin American side here. Uh, one from Brazil, Chile, Costa Rica, some coins from Cuba, Ecuador, Mexico, Mexico, and just the uh, the other week I, I found one that new pesos which the sender was silver this one is not this is just the regular one some coins from great britain so notice uh there's the new pence which is actually the really the old money and this is the regular modern five pence and this is definitely spendable it's a smaller 50 pence coin we have some coins from France, the old ones, uh, pre-Euro. One from Germany, also 1949, I believe. One from Italy. Then we have some Euro. This one's from the Netherlands. This one's from Germany. And also Germany. Another coin from the Netherlands. Um, that is uh, Poland, Croatia, uh, I guess it's like uh, Slovak Slovakia, Slovakia, uh, the USSR, 
And here is a token, local token from Victoria, BC. And then we have some spendable, mo spendable money, which caught my eye in the first place. We have here some nickel 50 cent pieces and nickel Canadian dollars. So if you can see here, let's see, um, $18 Canadian worth of obsolete nickel halves and dollars. I could take that, that back to the bank. But usually, you know, I sell these when I have the opportunity. Some collectors like it. So these are from the 70s. And then we have some American money, US dollars. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six dollars and five cents US. An old Canadian nickel from 1936, King George V. I think that's worth like two or three bucks. And some silver. Now we have 15 silver dimes. And I'll just show you the years. Uh, these ones are, have the uh, King George V averse. Oh, sorry, not the fifth, six averse. Um, two from 1940. One from 1941. One from 1944. 1947 with the maple leaf, 1949, and four from 1951. I'll just show you an example of the averse. And they're about very fine condition, so they average about $3.50 to $4.50 in value, depending on the year. Pretty nice. They're 80% silver. And then we have some with the... Uh, Queen Elizabeth II averse, one from 1963, and a whole bunch from 1967, the centennial year of Canada. So that's pretty neat. A dollar fifty U.S. Uh, silver dimes, Canadian silver dimes, and we also found two silver quarters, Canadian silver quarters. So. These are also 80 percenters, one from 1960, very dirty, corroded one, and one from 1963, young Queen Elizabeth II on that one, and this one as well. So there you have it, Un unexpected windfall, uh, well not windfall, well, I guess a uh, little hoard, for $15. And I'd say value-wise, mm, uh, between the silver and the spendable money and the world coins, I'd say close to $100. Pretty good for $15. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.